again, hola, and thank you for watching another installment from my YouTube channel, Benidorm and Beyond. Today I'm giving you a 2023 fly on the wall look around the four star Dynastic Hotel and Spa, which is situated in the Rincon de Loix area. Located on Avenida Ametia de Mar, which is a busy main thoroughfare full of bars, cafes, shops, and other hotels, you are only five minutes walk or so down to the beautiful Avanti beachfront and the same into the downtown area where you can experience some of Benidorm's famous vibrant nightlife. Incidentally, their sister hotel, the Gala Perfidia, can be found just 50 yards along the road opposite and up the hill on Cay Aroma. As you approach the hotel, you are greeted by cream marble tiled flooring planted with palm trees and then as you enter through the automatic glass doors, you find yourself in the light airy lobby area. The check-in desks of reception are to your immediate right, with lifts around the corner to take you up to the accommodation floors, and there is also a small seating area to your left, along with leaflets and information on local day trips and excursions. Moving through the hotel, you will find more squashy chairs and sofas in bright oranges, yellows and blues, with a luggage weighing machine available so your suitcases never need be overweight when you arrive at the airport on your departure, and also a Euronet ATM for if you're desperate to draw out some cash, although I would personally recommend not to use these ATMs due to their high transaction fees and poor exchange rates. In the large common areas leading off the foyer, there are plenty of plants for that natural touch, as well as a glass display case full of silver jewellery for sale, two internet stations and the customer service representative's desks, info boards and folders for the tour operators that serve this hotel. At the far end of this space there are further lifts as well as more tables and chairs, a pool table and a full-size snooker table, as well as a vending machine and a large statue of an elephant in the corner, whatever that's all about. The Hotel Dynastic offers free Wi-Fi throughout and has 206 rooms spread over two towers, which consist of a smaller block at the front with seven floors and a larger block with 19 floors at the rear. The hotel originally had just one single block, but in 2005 the second larger tower was built, along with the property being given a complete refurbishment. Heading downstairs we find the hotel's main buffet-style restaurant with dark brown chairs pulled up around tables laid up with white and orange tablecloths. Serving the best of Mediterranean and international cuisine, the dining room offers a show cooking area where you can watch the chefs cook fresh meats and fish to your liking in front of you and regular themed nights are laid on showcasing flavours from Mexico, Italy, the East and of course Spain. There is a mini buffet section especially for the children and on themed Disney nights there is a sweets and candy buffet for their delight. And in summer, outdoor barbecues are also arranged on a regular basis for all the guests. Board bases at the Hotel Dynastic range from simple bed and breakfast to their all-inclusive regime, which is especially popular with families. And current meal times are between 8.30 and 10.30 a.m. for breakfast, between 1 and 3 p.m. for lunch, with a dinner service between 7.30 and 9.30 in the evening. And please note that guests may not enter the restaurant in swimming costumes, fancy dress or without a t-shirt. Outside the restaurant you can find a gaming area complete with pinball machines, arcade type games and a pool and foosball table. You can also find the kids mini club in the corner as well as the daily and nightly entertainment schedule on the wall. The hotel's pool bar which is open from 10 in the morning until midnight is located at the far end of this downstairs level and is situated next to the exit to the pool area. Here you can enjoy a refreshing soft drink, spirit, beer or maybe even a cocktail which can be enjoyed inside in the shade or outside on the hotel's large sunny terrace. You can also enjoy a variety of snacks here too, with appetizers such as sandwiches, hot dogs, burgers, chips and ice creams available at various intervals in the day. The interior space also doubles up as an entertainment area for the hotel's animation team to put on shows and activities and there are plenty of fawn coloured tub chairs pulled up around low wooden tables to enjoy your drinks and snacks at. Moving outside, to your left you can find a ping pong table as well as a covered area where other sporting activities such as archery are put on by the hotel's entertainment staff. And there is also a large outdoor stage and dartboard as you move into the hotel's extensive gardens and grounds. Carrying on, you can find rows and rows of sun lounges and a few parasols too, with two swimming pools to choose from. One semi-circular shaped pool hugging the sides of the landscaped solarium area 
and the other, which is more of a children's splash pool and fun zone, which includes colourful water jets and showers to run around under, although on the day I visited, some overheated adults were also using this area to cool off in too. There is also a children's play area in the corner, equipped with climbing nets, a slide, rockers and a playhouse, with soft flooring underneath should they have a little tumble. Looking out over the endless lines of sunbeds, you can see the 12th man British bar and restaurant above, where you can head to watch all your favourite live sports matches and also put on a bet next door at the completely legal bookies office, or enjoy a cold pint, or maybe try some of their delicious home-cooked food. The Hotel Dynastic and Spa has a total of 206 rooms, decorated in ochres and earthy tones, with an option of classic, superior or family rooms to choose from. Classic rooms are located in the shortest building nearest the hotel lobby and can accommodate up to a maximum of three people. They offer a balcony, two single beds or a double bed, a complete bathroom with hairdryer, satellite TV, a mini bar, air conditioning and a safety deposit box for a fee. Superior rooms, which can be booked with or without a pool view, offer the same facilities but are situated in the taller of the two buildings and have two single beds as well as a sofa bed which can accommodate one or two people and a kettle so you can enjoy a cuppa in your room along with those wonderful views. Family rooms accommodate up to four people and have a large terrace facing the hotel's pools. And finally, the Sky Rooms, which are located on the 18th and 19th floors of the Dynastic and are accessed by a panoramic elevator, offer spacious bright rooms with a terrace and fabulous views. Outside, you can see the Mobility Scooter Parking and Charging Area, with scooter rental easily available by asking the helpful staff at reception, as well as some tables and chairs to enjoy a drink on from the on-site bar. As the hotel's full name suggests, there is also a fitness centre and spa available on site. The gym offers a full range of equipment with sports coaches on hand to help you out with your fitness programme and there is also a semi-Olympic sized heated pool of 25 metres which has six swimming lanes available. The extensive spa area includes a hydro massage pool, water beds and jets to relax your muscles as well as a Turkish bath and finished sauna. Spa circuits and gym sessions can be booked to reception and favourable rates are given to hotel residents. If you prefer to lay back and be pampered whilst on your holiday however, the Dynastic Spa Centre also offers comprehensive health, beauty and wellness treatments which include a range of different massages in one of their seven cabins as well as manicures and pedicures and something delightfully titled Choco Therapy so why not treat yourself to a lazy afternoon? The hotel also prides itself on supporting all sports, especially cycling and training for triathlon events. They've expanded their facilities over the last few years and can now offer a private room for bicycles with security hangers, a repair bench with professional tools and pumps, along with a bicycle wash station for sluicing down your transport after a hard day's pedalling out on the roads, countryside or in the mountains. The Hotel Dynastic currently ranks 93rd out of 201 hotels in Benidorm on TripAdvisor UK with a guest satisfaction rating of 3.5 out of 5, putting it in the very good category based on over 3,270 reviews. Positive comments mention the clean, pleasant rooms with comfy beds with the added tip that it's worth paying for a pool view room as otherwise you just have views of the local streets. Its good location also comes in for praise, with lots of services and facilities nearby, including bars, restaurants, shops and public transport links, which are always a bonus. Negative remarks say that the adult pool is on the small side, which I have to agree with really, and more than one review said that some of the reception staff were rude, which is always a shame to hear, although maybe they're just overworked and understaffed, I really couldn't possibly say. Overall, it seems like a bit like a Marmite hotel to me, as I call it, with some perfectly happy with it, noting that you shouldn't believe some of the worst online reviews and that this is the best place they've ever stayed in Benidorm, whilst others stick to their guns saying that the hotel is absolutely not worthy of its four-star rated and shouldn't be returned to. So I guess, as in everything in life, just look into what is most important to you in a hotel, read all the reviews available with a large pinch of salt and make your own mind up at the end of the day. I hope you've enjoyed this 2023 fly on the wall look around the Hotel Dynastic and Spa with me and it's given you some idea of what to expect if you stay at this hotel in the future. And if you have liked watching today then please join me again in the future as well as checking out some of my other videos full of information, news and detailed street and beachfront walks as well as reviews on lots of local hotels, cafes and bars. 
Also, feel free to drop me a line in the comments section if there is something or somewhere that you would particularly like me to include in the future, and I'll see what I can do. I'll see you out and about next time, and thanks so much for watching as always. Have a great week, bye for now, and adios. Cheers!